You guys, this is making me break out. So it's very thick and it's quite sticky. And the fragrance, oh my god, it is so overpowering. A huge one right here with the pus and all through here. Hi guys, today we're going to be putting to the test the Innisfree Green Tea Foam Cleanser for one entire week and actually see how well it cleanses, but also if it maybe reduces my breakouts and blackheads. So before trying this for the first time, I first want to show you what my skin is looking like so that we can see if there's going to be any improvement throughout this week. Now, as you can tell, I definitely have blackheads on the nose. Hi, one huge one right here. I also do have pimples on the cheeks. It is nothing new, nothing changed. These are my struggle areas. I also have a little bit of dark spots right here. Now I'm curious to see the claims that Innisfree is making for this cleanser. Formulated with Jeju green tea extract cleanses away dirt and impurities leaving skin feeling clean soft and supple. A rich foaming cleanser that removes impurities from the inside of the pores. It is combined with sapling enriched green tea root extract to keep the skin hydrated even after cleansing. So this is supposed to be a foaming cleanser that is going to remove impurities but at the same time hydrate my skin. What else do you want to do? Do you want to go ahead and clean my car while you're at it? I first want to see the consistency, the smell, and if it's green as well. <gasps> oh my god, it's so pretty though. You guys, the smell, I can smell it already. It's amazing, but this means that it might be a very strong fragrance. So I'm gonna just start massaging it on the skin. Oh my god, guys. So it's very thick and it's quite sticky, and the fragrance, oh my god, it is so overpowering. You can see it is foaming a lot. It's not stinging is quite hydrating. I can feel that. Okay guys, so this is after one cleanse. To be honest, my skin is not feeling tight or stripped of its moisture. To be honest, looking at it right here, might it also have been reduced in wetness? Oh my god. Oh my god! You guys, honestly, first impressions, I'm definitely quite impressed in this free. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, it's day two, but before we go any further this experiment, y'all know that I want to dissect the ingredients with you guys. So, to see if there's any ingredients that might be potentially bad for our skin. And then, we're gonna hold in a free accountable for that. But anyways, the ingredient list is not on the bottle for some reason, so I have my notes. So, I'm not gonna read you the full ingredient list. I'm just gonna focus on the main ingredients that you should know of, and also if there are any bad ones. So, actually, we're starting off very bad, because the first ingredient is going to be PEG 32. Whenever you see PEG, that is basically going to be plastic, you guys. That is not good at all. Then there's going to be, guess what, another bad ingredient, which is potassium hydroxide, which is going to be lye. So what I use to straighten my hair, as you can tell if you've ever used it, it's very irritating, especially for the skin, if in big amounts. And this being so high up in the ingredient list, what was the reason in this free? Why did you put it so high? What was the reason? I just explained, I just explained the reason. What was the reason? Uh, were you high when you put it so high? Then there's going to be PEG 100 sterate. And it's free. You guys, guess what? It gets even worse. Then there's going to be fragrance. Uh-huh. On the second line of the ingredient list. This is just traumatic. I'm in tears almost. The ghetto. The ghetto. I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost. Anyways, then there is going to be Camellia Synthetis Leaf Water Extract, which this is going to be the green tea. And basically has amazing antioxidant properties, so it is going to protect us from free radicals and damage over collagen, so it is anti-aging. It also is anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial, so it's going to reduce the redness caused by acne, but also redness of rosacea, eczema, dry skin. And on top of that, the polyphenols contained in green tea can actually lead to a reduction in sebum production so it's actually going to balance them out i am shocked and it's free what were you thinking when designing this ingredient list you thought you know what you know what mm -mm. it is too good out there there are too many cleansers that are well formulated let me come out you know as a as a little game you know i'm funny like that shall we give the girls a cleanser that is totally disgusting and it's gonna ruin their face you know as a joke that <laughs> i'm just so funny it's absolutely disgusting that people still even entertain him. It's utterly despicable that people still pretend to laugh at him and find him funny. So it's day four, it ain't looking cute, okay? As you can see, I am going through breakouts. Pimples is coming. A huge one right here with the pus and all through here. You guys, this is making me break out. Too much plastic. Now I love to inject it in my face. Don't get me wrong, but just apply topically, I feel like plastic ain't doing it for me. First of all, I just wanna say I'm sorry to anyone who lives in these Jeju Islands because surely what the hell is going on over there? Like y'all got toxic volcanoes. Apparently you also have a green tea made of plastic. 
Hey, editing Matt here. I just realized that in that video, I'm just coming across as super against like PEGs and polyethylene and super a clean freak. That is not the case. Like it's okay to have PEGs and polyethylene in small amounts. Also, I am aware that it's normal and it's expected, especially in green tea products because it's naturally found in green tea. However, in this cleanser, it seems to me like there's a little too much of it. So it's okay to have in small amounts, but not as much as there is in this. All right. You know what, in Jesus' name, where is the Jeju Island? I really need to know. Oh my god, so it actually is a real place. Like I thought it was just invented by NS3. You just, you, you sound ignorant. But it actually is a lovely island in South Korea, duh. But it truly looks so beautiful. I'll pop some pictures on the screen right now, but damn. Jeju Island, y'all need to, let, let, come over here. Let me tell you something. NS3 is playing you dirty. She's not making you any favors at all. NS3, you know who you are? You're just like Trump. Because see, Trump is making everyone in the world hate America and Innisfree is making all the skincare junkies hate this Jeju Island which I didn't even know it was a real place and I was hating it for no reason because it's beautiful. It was beautiful. Did I meet her? Is she, is she beautiful? Does she live up to the name? Honestly, you Jeju Island people, y'all needs to vote Innisfree out of the country. Just ban him out. Do not let him in your country, in your grounds no more. And might I just say this is hands down, not even trying to reach so I do not have to stress Wretch. It is honestly, if not the worst, definitely one of the worst cleansers that I've ever tried. And the contestant is going to be, once again, the Innisfree Jeju Board Cleansing Foam. Like, it's a tie between these two. That dress looks awful close to mine. Somebody must be jealous. I look great. <laughs> I'm not jealous, oops. And you know it. The ingredient list, I might say, for this one, it's even worse. But for some reason, I prefer the experience with this one than this one. But to be honest, they're both just disgusting. Were you so trying to address me? No, but on a real note though, like, is it even worth me trying to tell you my experience, my results, how to implement it in your skin routine? Because truly, I was traumatized, honey. I was just in tears, almost. Like, this was just a no experience for me at all. It was just like the first time that I had sex. Something best buried and forgotten and just in a very small box to the left in my mind. With a sticker written on it, do not open ever. And it's free, you know what, given that I'm quite new to your brand, like, after all, this is only the third product that I've tried. I've tried the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum. That was honestly okay. If it weren't for the fragrance and the alcohol, it was a very nice green tea serum. These two were the second and third product that I tried and these was just very much flops. I just really want to talk to your management team and your product development team. Also, in what lab is you coming up with these products? Because I really need to just like have a one-on-one -on -one chat with them and tell them that they should not be trusted and allowed around skincare at all. As I already said in that metaphor in the vlogs, in a three, you're just like a child. You should not be trusted around precious and important stuff. We should put a child lock in that lab in the skincare industry to not let you in. Hello. You know what, guys? I've decided to take this executive decision. This is going to be the second time that I've only done this on my channel ever in all the videos that I made. And I will not tell you my experience. It was just disgusting. I will not even tell you how to incorporate it in your skin routine. I will not tell you who is it good for because it's good for nobody. The only other time that I did it was <laughs> with the same Eve's scrub. I'm just going to say stay away from Innisfree cleansers because it's just something that they're not good at. You know, like, we're not good at everything. Some people have a talent of art, of acting, talking in public, maths, arithmetics, science, and very many few people have all of them. I'm of course one of them, but you know, we're very rare. So Innisfree is definitely not part of our exclusive club, and therefore cleansers is not their forte. So honestly guys, this video is going to be very short. Let me just chuck this out. Shall we do a serenity prayer for us to just cleanse our aura of this very bad juju and spirits that the Innisfree cleanser green tea gave us? God, please, or any everything you believe in. Cleanse our souls from all these impurities and please forgive us for our sins of having even considered of trying a cleanser such so disgusting containing plastic fragrances and all other alcohols. Wait, no, it didn't contain alcohol, but still it's just disgusting. So please God, protect our aura, our loved ones, and our family. Amen, Hiram. All I'm gonna say is the green tea in general, not in this because honestly I don't even believe that this is actual green tea, but green 
green tea in general is very amazing. Not only for soothing as it has anti-inflammatory purposes, but where it's actually going to reduce redness, maybe caused by your acne or eczema and dry skin. So it's amazing for both acne prone and dry skin types. It's also antibacterial, so it's going to kill the bacteria. But also it contains an amazing antioxidant, one of the most powerful actually, EGCG. Once again, going to protect your collagen from free radicals and damage, so it truly is also anti-aging. And I really recommend you find an amazing green tea based product in your skincare. Not a cleanser. Green tea for it to really work and do its magic, it has to sit on your skin for more than how much you would use a cleanser, like 30 seconds or so. So for that reason in general, a rule that I like to follow with my cleansers is don't spend money into buying anything fancy with fancy ingredients like green tea, vitamin C, because they're truly not going to do their magic at all. The only cleansers that I do recommend with fancy ingredients are going to be containing AHAs or BHAs, so chemical exfoliators, those do work amazingly. But apart from that, I really just stick to basic cleansers like CeraVe does amazing ones. Green tea, antioxidants in a cleanser, they don't do much because once again, they only sit on your skin for 30 seconds, so why are you wasting your time? So green tea in a toner, in a serum, it's amazing. I have not yet, unfortunately, found a green tea serum that is amazing and up to my standards, just like aloe vera gel. I've recently discovered that a lot of them actually contain a lot of fragrance and alcohol, even if they don't disclaim it in the packaging, for some reason they are allowed to. Aloe vera gel is basically the twin sister of green tea, because it basically has the same properties apart from, you know, the EGCG. But apart from that, they're twins. You can use either or, or both. So maybe try and use an aloe vera gel. But that's it. Um, child. Anyway, so let's move on very swiftly to, ma'am, if this was the first video that you saw on mine, then maybe might I interest you into joining the Redmond family, and what you have to do is literally just subscribe, so click the subscribe button right there, and also click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads, because this, let me tell you, we are all about fighting acne, we are all about fighting wrinkles, anti-aging, and what's not, and I literally embody both, and I would love to have you part of the family, and also, if you're struggling with your skin hygiene at all, well, I am here to get it down to the T, so, mwah, join. On top of that, to further deepen the bond, you can also follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok, both of my random, so you can literally see me 24-7, there's a lot more skincare that you will not see here that you can see over there, by the way. By the way, if you have any issues with your skin, do not hesitate to DM me, I would love to help you out. And to my randoms who are still watching, you know what time of it is now, it's time for the Italian word of the video. Oh, and since this video was all about this, honestly, just traumatizing industry, uh, green tea foaming serum cleanser, the Italian word of the video is actually going to be, I wanted to make shady, but unfortunately, I, like, there's no point in being shady. What I want to teach you is a word that you might want to use, which is te verde, which is green tea. So, verde is green, and te is, of course, tea. Excuse me, ma'am, what do you think you're doing? Ah, you're not gonna click on this video. What you need to do is click one of these two videos right here because it's just gonna be as informative, informational, whatever this video was for you, shady too. And truly, while doing that, remember to be random and always be random. No, but truly, Jeju Island, America, y'all needs to sort your politics out. Vote your individuals out of the country, both of you. That, there's a lot of work you gotta do, but click while you're doing that.